Hi, this is Wayne Jacobson here. Wanted to make a short video on how to adjust the handle. Uh, I've written up that in the write-up, but uh, this little video will show you how to adjust it. Because sometimes you want to sit down and do it, other times you want to stand a little taller. But where this this can make your arm a little, even though it does an easy job of chopping, it can still be a little hard to reach. Um, the best way to adjust the location of this handle is to uh, mark the current location. I'm just going to put some scotch tape on here. going to run a black line right there and a black line right there so I know where the current one is. The second, you've been given a uh, little Allen, metric Allen head wrench. Uh, you want to loosen up this collar right here, this ring fits right over that shaft. It needs to go back when we're done. So we'll just slide that off. That will allow this to come out. Also remember that this has been all the way down when we started this. Don't start it up here. Make sure this little pin comes down. So at this point we can pull this out. You can see the gears here. So we want to rotate it. If you want it up there now you can see, now our chopping is going to be up here. If that feels uncomfortable, you want to rotate this out. No, you can bring it all the way out. It won't make any difference. Uh, bring it back in. Now I'm right back to where I started. So my only other choice is right there. Okay. Also keep in mind that we, when we cut cane we don't usually need to go all the way down to the bottom bottom meaning when this pin stops it and that pin is to stop these blades from crashing into each other uh, what we usually do is just give it a short little burst so you can see right here is where I felt good about pulling it even though the handle goes all the way down to here so I don't operate down in this level, I operate up here in this level. So, once I have this, there's no uh, other adjustments. I want to put the locking ring back in, tighten up the set screw. It doesn't have to be really tight, just snug is good. Now I have it down here. It feels a lot more comfortable. Right there. You can then pull the tape off if you want. And that's basically it. While I have you here, uh, I've shown in the past a lot ways, a lot of ways to catch the cane. And this is one that I really like. This is a nut jar from uh, Costco. And I've taken two earth magnets and just hot glued them right in. I put a little piece of sheet metal because you need steel for magnets. So now I just put that right on there, put it up against there. It catches all the uh, catches all the cane. It still allows me room if, if a few pieces fall in here. I can still pick them up and put them in there. Okay, that'll do it. Thank you.